Hello everybody. Uh, this quick short little video on the, the T7 patch. I noticed they he added Linux support finally. Um, uh, and he had to update it recently. And he finally added Steam Deck and Linux support for it. So this will be a short little video. Uh, this The patch fixes the uh, remote code executable or whatever it is. Um, uh, malware they can inject into your computer. Um, and it also fixes the stutter issues with uh, playing uh, like in the menu and fixes performance as well. So there is no video on it, so I'm just going to make sure we're on it. You can click here to download the Linux zip, or you can go into here and then download the... Um... Yeah, so yeah, there's, there's no... Yeah, there's no video for it. You can download, post download the Linux, Steam Deck, and manual Windows install. So you can do this on Windows as well if you don't want to run the executable. It'll create a, a zip folder. You can extract it, and it'll be here. This is what will be inside of it. Uh, go into here. Set your player name right there. It'll probably be called Unknown Soldier. You can do friends only, and you can set a network password. So people with the same password key will be able to join you. And once you have all this, you can control C, control V into here. I already have everything into here. And then now one more step to do is make sure you're on this or on any of the G913 plus or experimental. And you want to make sure you have this set in your launch options for Linux. And once you're done, I'll launch the game and just give you a little quick little show of it. That it is actually injected. Takes a little second to launch, so. All right, we're on here. And then uh, Mango HUD still works, as you can see. Um, I have a 150 FPS cap, but you can go above that if you need to. Um, we're almost here. And the way to know if it's working is in the top right, it will say Patch number, yeah, patch 2.03 by Sirius. So, and again, um, the actual stutter issues don't appear in the menu like normally they do. Uh, modded still works just the same. You load it like user data. And again, you just set a network password. Your NAT type should be open, I think. I think it fixes that issue as well. Um, but yeah, there's no stuttering at all here. And this is at 4K. But uh, you would just go into private game. And at the very bottom, you have maps. So, yeah, that's just a quick little video I wanted to show you guys um, for this guide. So, uh, thanks for watching.